Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Smooth Magic, your stop on YouTube for the chillest booster box openings. Again, we've got Core 2021. Oh, collector's booster boxes. We're gonna dive into this and see what we pull. Still really on the hunt for an Ugin. The last couple uh, unboxings, he has evaded us, but time is on our side. We can outlast him. We just must persevere. Okay, let's see. Can I get these right about there? And um, let's pull from the right here to start off with. So, pack number one. We got the Ruined Halo for the extended art. A Maze Mine Tomb. A Temple of Silence for the Box Talker. A Liliana Standard Bearer. And that's uh, all she wrote on that one. Okay, we'll try our luck on the second pack here. First one, not too good. Got a beautiful swamp though. The Zuzo, lost but seeking. Let's see the truth for him. And another Azusa, lost but seeking. Chandra Heart of Fire for the first mythic. And a very nice cultivate. Box stopper. Double vision. And a foil massacre worm. Mythic, of course. A box topper ghostly pilfer. Thunder's incinerator. And a whole lot of nothing. Well, this uh, box has been off to a little bit of a slow start. A couple packs in. up the pace a little bit if we want to have a real uh, great time here. Got the Brash Tondra, Osri's Lieutenant, and another Mythic. The Bane Slayer Angel. Foil. So that's Mythic number three in what, four packs it looks like? Not bad. I just need to hit some of those Mythics on those box toppers. Going in for pack number five. The one thing I do want to comment on all these beards, I just absolutely love the colors. The pink and the blue, all kind of coming together there. Very rad. The glorious anthem. I never noticed this before, but I can't tell if they have four wings or there's a bunch of angels over there. Looks very cool though. I love cards like that. A pack leader for the box topper. You know, I love a lot of the angel cards. Just the imagery looks it's really cool. The light shining down. The wings outstretched. Very cool. And often in battle uh, settings. Got a nice 
Ghost Mountain. The Stormwing Entity. And a Lily Standard Bearer. Uh, interesting. Naomi, the Steam Speaker. I like the colors on that one too. We got a little bit of the purple going on here. A little bit of the blue. Very nice looking card. A Garrick Unleashed, another mythic. Okay. We're now about halfway through the pack. Kind of uh, feeling out the waters. It's, you know, it's lukewarm. Nothing that's gonna freeze you or really shock you getting in. Just, you know, step your toe in. It's, it's palatable, but if we could get uh, some variance one way or the other, it would be much appreciated. Hopefully the uh, words of the positivity, the necromancy isn't going to do it. Okay, there's the Teferi's Ageless Insight. I'm still kind of riding the train of the Chandra early on and the Massacre Worm. Something really popping out at me. Okay. So peaceful there. You almost expect there to be a, a rainbow kind of going across there in the background. Although I suppose the, uh, the box topper variant might actually look like that based on the foil. The Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose for the box topper. The Containment Priest, we've seen a lot of those. And a couple Bazar's Acolytes. Well, nope. unfortunately, I think we're going to have to pick up the pace a little bit here if we want to end on a high note. It's been rather sour grapes over here. With nothing really to latch on to. Conspicuous Snoop. The Stormwing Entity. Yeah, we've got a Temple of Epiphany. Box Topper. A Massacre Worm for... Should we call it six? Nope, I've been putting lands there. Let's call it five. Fifth mythic of the box. And there she is. The Grim Tutor, foil mythic. That um that kind of regains a little bit of ground. Transmography. Transmography, rather. The Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose. A Basri Cat for another mythic. Okay. Two packs left. I hope you've been enjoying your time here in Smooth Magic. Uh, as always, we really appreciate you being here with us today and hope to see you around these parts again. Really enjoy your time together. Just kind of hanging out, looking at some of this beautiful, beautiful artwork. Current set here, M21, Garrick's Harbinger. Oh, okay. Now that, my friends, is a smooth pull. We got a foil Ugin Spirit Dragon. Look at on that. <laughs> look at the look of the look. I'm just out of words. Love the foil. Like, very nice cool card. Um, put that up there with our friends the box toppers. Last pack. I do believe we've uh, ended on a high note here with that foil Ugin. You know, it's times like this I'm really glad we went in the kind of the reverse order on the boxes. You know, if we would have started on the left, we would have started with that Ugin and kind of been let down, but going this way, hmm, much better. Got a Bane Slayer Angel, Mythic, Box Topper. So we've got three of the extended arts back to back, two of them being Box Toppers. Spectacular. A scavenging ooze. And there we have it, folks. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode on Smooth Magic, and uh, again, I hope to see you again here as we crack open some more packs of Core 2021. Smooth day!